Another running theme that I heard was that I've been to the farm where they where they, they produce the cheese and they let the calf stay with the mother and and I'm like okay and yeah, no, I see that so I said like what happens to the mother when she no longer produces milk for the farmer like and becomes a nuisance do they go to the slaughterhouse uh, well I don't know about that I said okay yeah yeah well you know that's the process there's a fire inside your heart and let it light up the world light up the world and then the cows are all they're, they're sexually abused as well, which makes it even more sick. Perverted, It's a word for it. How is everything going, Cristiano? Have some good conversations? Yeah. Yeah. So I've had some really good conversations. Again, again, she just started activism. It's really, it's really amazing, like, vegan starting activism. It's good. It's like, so it's nearly as good as, uh, it's actually better than um, turning someone vegan. Because you can turn a thousand people eat vegan with an activist. Exactly. Yesterday I was talking with Yolanda about karma points. You know, when you turn someone vegan or vegetarian, like you, you earn some karma points, I guess. <laughs> when you turn it, when you turn people into activists, though, it's like it that's multiplies by a thousand. Exactly. Where's my karma points? When when are they coming? I'm still waiting. No, I'm only joking. When you meet God. <laughs> this is all plant-based, made from uh, plants, uh, vegan, ve vegetarian, vegetables. Vegeta everything from vegetarian. Everything yeah. from vegetables. Yeah. No, oh, vegan. No animal. No, no, no animal. Yeah. <laughs> I can taste one here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This sausage, fromage. Uh, we had a good conversation. Some even better than I had yesterday on uh, AV. Uh, Just different, a different type of conversation, you know, centered around food and. You just got a, a different vocal point than the cruelty. That's just, you know, if you can get good tasting food without harming animals, why wouldn't we? And uh, positive um, reinforcement. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Interesting. This is a great. You can't tell the difference. It's, um, it's uh, with um, um, spices, herbs. Spicy, yes. Yeah, salty, spicy. I don't go all positive about the taste you know you need a good blend uh -huh. a good blend but no one died no one is murdered no one yeah, is killed no, murder, yes. no 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 animals slaughterhouse no, murder, no, no slaughterhouse no, animal murders, yes. no blood and no organs just uh plants better for the environment better for the animals and also for health better for health better, much better for, health. for your heart for your heart all this all this uh, fat from, uh, you know the heart disease the Yes. Number one killer of human beings on earth. It's not due to vegetable uh, fat, it's due to animal fat. Cholesterol? Yes. In animals? It's bad fat. Bad fat? It's, it's animal fat. Collects in your heart and arteries? Vegetal fat is yeah. quite better. So the animals they suffer and then the human beings eat and then they suffer with heart attack. I do understand. Yeah. I stop it. Animal. I stop it at animal. Good work. Very, very positive. Yeah, no, it's good. We're, we're actually on this street because they sell lots of cheese and yeah, animals yeah. and we're just promoting a it's compassionate a way of eating. Yeah. So a no, way. no one was harmed and no. yeah, if we've got vegan foie gras, obviously foie gras is they force feed yeah. the animals and cut their liver out. Yeah. And yeah. yeah, you yeah. told me about that last night. <laughs> but um, all animal products are inherently, you know, cruel and slaughterhouses only exist because we um, eat animal yeah. products and cheese and people actually don't connect the cheese to a slaughterhouse but no, no. there's whole slaughterhouses dedicated to slaughtering dairy cows when they don't produce milk anymore right, so yeah. no, I do know that. Did you try recently yeah huh? recently I stopped it I think for health it's yeah. a lot of uh, input could give a lot of improvement and also I trim I slim, slim down um, slim down yeah uh, doing this uh, 12 kilos wow in uh, four months. Wow, amazing. And did not did not come back. Wow, stay it's, off. It's, it's, it has been one, um, one year. Um, That's amazing. It has not been back due to don't eat meat. Uh, meat, wow. Yeah. So you're from the country. Yeah, I grew up on the farm. On so, the farm. So, um, yeah, but we were just saying to the 
a girl that um, I don't agree with live export. I hate live export, and they should not be doing. For that. what reasons? Uh, it's just too cruel. It's too cruel. It's too cruel. I mean, you like you load ten thousand sheep on a, on a ship, and you take them, you know, three weeks through the ocean. So they're suffering. And they suffer. And people forget that when you transport animals for slaughter, they lose two, three kilos. Yeah. They drop the weight so fast. Do you think? Um, so. So it's the suffering that, this that, suffering that is yeah. It's cruel. I mean, and sheep, sheep can die just out of fright. Like they'll just drop dead. They're scared. They're scared. They will literally yeah. just die out of fright. And that is a cruel. Imagine, if, imagine that being like, I just don't agree with live export. So in Australia, we slaughter the sheep as well. Like before they go on, so they, they yeah. hop on a truck, they go to the slaughterhouse, yeah. they go to the kill floor, yeah. and they're prodded onto a kill line yeah. and they are decapitated. And in those last moments of them, you know, suffering in their own blood. Yeah. I would still say that that's suffering. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh, hundred yeah. percent. Yeah. So like for the same reasons, like live export is bad. Yeah. I would say eating lamb chops in Australia yeah. is still morally. It's still yeah. It's pretty cruel. Cool. Um, I'm not gonna. But there's like a spectrum all. of cruelty. You're saying there's they're gonna suffer for three weeks on a boat and then be murdered. Yeah, but I'm, in Australia, they only suffer for that it's still, ten I'm minutes. Not, it's, they're both still very cruel, but mm. I'm probably more about like I don't agree with live export. I don't, yeah. I don't think as um, a first world country we should be doing that. Like, yeah. I just don't agree with that at all. But that's just that's just my. Opinion. So you so then you would agree that animals deserve moral treatment then? Oh shit, yeah. 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 Oh, no so that, cruelty. So in a slaughterhouse, I would say that that's sort of inconsistent with moral treatment like yeah. your own even your own standard like they deserve moral treatment but when we put them in a slaughterhouse oh yeah 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 so that's what like veganism basically is red meat don't no 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 chicken sometimes i cheat it happens because it's so often chicken but, uh, normally you don't like chicken also huh? we don't kill birds or kill any, any, anyone yes birds are anyone 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 and and birds are someone fish, fish are someone Yes, sure. and they suffer. They're hooked out the ocean. They, you know. But eggs. What's about eggs? Eggs. Eggs are interesting because they they breed the chicks. Okay, the males don't lay eggs, so they will be disposed of by the egg industry. They usually put them in a big blender in the first their first day of life. They kill them. They kill the males. The females they'll produce eggs. Okay, and when they can't produce eggs for the farmer anymore, they're useless. So they go to the slaughterhouse and they're killed. So same process unethical we, and we don't need eggs and they're high in cholesterol yes very high in cholesterol bad for your yes. heart yes. bad for the animals the yellow, but, yeah. yeah so we stay away <laughs> choose this compassion is a good man, huh? <laughs> so <laughs> choose compassion yeah. it's like have you been a vegan like your entire life or is this something that no way i used to eat so much <laughs> so much meat all the every single meal it's ingrained in this bacon culture. Eggs for breakfast, yeah. nearly every morning, huge yeah. omelettes, and then I have chicken flesh, and then I'd eat steak, and yeah. I'd, I wouldn't even ever connect it to the animal. Like, no, no, you don't. Even while I was, I knew, like, if you asked me you where, what ever, animals this come don't. from, yeah. I'd say, oh, oh, oh a cow. Yeah. But I never connected it with someone. Yeah. Like, some animal probably had their own personality, probably terrified on the way to the slaughterhouse, got yeah. killed. Didn't, didn't do any of that connection. Now I've bore witness inside slaughterhouses, out the front of slaughterhouses, meet all the animals before they're killed, yeah. and I have the connection. Yeah. Which is something we all lose, I think. Um, oh, 100%. Yeah, 100%, yeah. 100%, yeah. No, it improved my health. That's good. See, being, being kind has improved yes. your health. It, it did. There we go. I just have to, to go a little further. Really, it's like the deadline. Don't take even one gram. Don't take one one, but I've done a lot of it. You don't miss out on it. You don't miss out on anything from, um, don't miss out on any flavor from, you know, you don't miss out on any flavor or any taste, no. you know, beans and legumes and nuts it's and seeds good. and fruits and vegetables, and pasta. No problem, I like it. quite impressed with the meat though, well the non-meat actually. And you know, where, do you just hang out in Australia a lot? Um, Is that where you spend most of your time, Australia? Well, we live in London oh, we live now. in the UK now. Dude. I spend, I'm a UK citizen as well, spend oh, okay. heaps of time in the UK. Yep. UK is, is one of the meccas for plant-based vegan stuff everywhere. Yeah, so, yeah, the Club and Commons got vegan places on there. Yeah. <laughs> There's an yeah, app called Happy Cow. Yeah. What you could do, possibly, is uh, there's, a, there's a challenge that we recommend to people and it's free and it's on Facebook and it's yeah. called Challenge 22. Challenge 22. Okay. Yeah. So if you go Challenge 22 on Facebook and it will come up and you can do a little three week challenge yep. and see if you can eat plant-based for those three weeks. Yeah. And then 
like there's a little forum so you can go, oh look, I'm in the UK. Yeah. Where do I go? Yep. Tesco, Sainsbury's have vegan options galore. There's, yeah. Uh, it's everywhere. It's like in Australia, it's just ingrained that you eat meat. You just eat meat. <laughs> but you come to France, it's ingrained you eat cheese and meat. You yeah. go to yeah, Asia. It's everywhere, yeah. yeah. Like every single culture has ba baseline meat eating yeah. ingrained. Yeah. And but, but no one really has the connection between the animals, the suffering and blood in the slaughterhouse, yeah. and the plate. It's always happy farm plate. Oh, yeah. yeah. You know. not how it goes. It's not <laughs> happy farm, butchered in slaughterhouse, yeah. you're eating the remains of someone who didn't want to die. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> oh, don't do me a bad No, you're famous now, you're famous. <laughs> I have no time to do it with she did, she did it. It's good, you can be a good spokesman. You can be a good spokesman for plant-based, healthy, uh, helping animals. But it's my experience. Yeah. Nobody told me. I you see for yourself. I really, I really, I really think it's, it's the way to go. It's the way to go. Yeah. yeah. That's excellent. And then I could, now I go to sport. Before, 300 meters. No energy. Can't run. Yeah. Now 800 meters. Oh, I don't. Full of energy. I don't feel. Amazing. No, because. There's no body parts in here. But I am lucky. My wife is cooking vegetables all the time. All the day, all the lucky. Time. No, no fat because yeah. vegetables with fat is the same with uh, oil. It's the same problem. That for for health, it's not good. But for the animals, oil is okay. I mean, as long as there's no animals. But if you want to be healthy as well, you cut out the oil. Mm. Oh, you want to be ethical, cut out the animals. Sleep over consumption. I watched this documentary in the, in the US and something like 30,000 pigs are slaughtered every day. Like, no one mm. needs to eat that much I pork. think even one. You don't need like, think about, food. like, my, my dog at home, right? Yeah. If someone killed that one animal, like, I would feel like that was a massive injustice. Yeah. So 30,000 is horrible, yeah. but even one. Mm. If it's not necessary for me to stab the pig to death and kill them for their body and not, the pig wants to live, like that one injustice for that poor animal, that one soul, when I could have eaten this sausage. Yeah. You know, so we just feel like it's so unnecessary. Like, yeah, yeah. like we're not starving, we're not trying to survive. We have all these other options and yeah. yeah. No, and that's true, that, that is true. There are other ways to live. Yeah, more ethical ways. Thank you. Thanks for, so what was it called again? Challenge 22. I was gonna say Judge 22 then. Challenge 22. Peace. Interesting. One from a farm, one from Adelaide, and they live in London. London's a mecca for vegan stuff. We'll see how they go. You never know. They could be new vegans. And uh, yeah, that's good. Well, I am going to ping pong, huh? Have good fun. Uh, Take care. You, huh? Really nice to talk man, to you. Huh? Take care, my you, brother. You speak a good English. I'm from Australia. <laughs> Cheers, mate. This is my mate. <laughs> Cheers, buddy. <laughs> wow, he's like so healthy from just cutting out some of the animal products. And I think we just gave him that push to cut out all of the animal products, which is what he needed. He just needed a little... See, some people are almost already there. And if you give him that little push in the right direction, he's going to go off and he's so, mo he's so motivated. So motivated, so... And he's going to be a good spokesman for this message. So let's just hope that that seed flourishes into something amazing. You know, handing out food is, gets people's sense, senses going. They go, wow, this tastes good. Oh, and murder tastes bad. Okay. Murder feels bad. This tastes good. Compassion tastes good. But the slaughterhouse footage should leave a bad taste in their mouth and the vegan cheese should leave a good taste in their mouth.